Okay, we should be all set up in Dreamweaver. And let's talk about your first homework assignment. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver and I'm going to go through basically how you're going to get things set up, how you're going to get started. So I have my local site set up for Web 115 and you'll notice that I have my index page, which I did before this video set up, and then I have my O1 with an index.html. And I've created this to show you what I want done for your homework assignment. And so this is my basic program in Dreamweaver. And I like Dreamweaver I'm far, far superior to Optana. I like it in the split design where I can see everything here and I can put my code in and you'll see that I have put in the basic code and I started with my doc type of HTML, my language of English, this is my head section with my title, my care set UTF-8, what we use in the United States, and then this is the basic commands for Lab 01. And you'll see that I'm using bold, strong, italic, emphasis, small, quote, block quote. And for Lab 1, you have the assignment to create a document that's four to five paragraphs long and use it to introduce yourself to the class. Make sure to properly set up the code and use all the text formatting techniques that I listed in this page. All right, so let's take a quick look at how you'd actually go about doing that, because this is where people really get stuck. Now, I've done this same exercise in Optana, and this time I did Optana first. So I can show you the finished one. Um, this is what we are going to create. Web 115 Homework Lab 01 dash text. And so this is what we're going to create. But your sample that you're working from is this that I created online with my first video, this one. And so when you sit down to do your homework, this is what you see. And often people are like, okay, great. I have no clue where to start. Okay, I've been there. I understand. How do you get this assignment from here. And that's really what I'm going to explain in this video is how to get started with your homework. So I'm going to create a new file. Now when you create your file, I really want you to create it using um, index as your name. Now there's several ways to get started here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, probably the easiest one in Dreamweaver is going to be choosing file new. And you're going to choose HTML with no layout. You don't want them putting anything in it and you want to set it up with HTML5 and hit create. And this is the way you're going to start most of your files because this gives you a really great template of everything that is required stacked in or nested in the right order. You're going to have your doc type HTML. That's, and then you have your elements. You have HTML through HTML here. That's the whole HTML page and that's your HTML element, which includes the beginning tag, the end tag, and everything between the two tags. So you nest elements inside of each other. This is your title element. So I'm going to call this, and I'm going to make it match what I've already done. So I'm going to call this um, Lab01. So I'm going to type in here, between the two title tags, Lab01. 01 and when I click over here it refreshes and you'll see that the title goes up to the top here and that's the end of my head lab. Now you guys are looking at as your sample this is the, these are the codes you need to use. So you should be choosing view page source and you can see there's samples here. You can also see there's an error here. And this is a problem of mine because I've been programming HTML since 1997. The standards have changed and I've got a few sloppy habits from the old HTML. I put an ordered list inside of a paragraph. I should not have done that. Should not have done that. Um, so it gives me a little red error, but it still works. So I don't go back and I don't fix it. So this is what you have as your basis for starting, and this is what you're looking at. I'm going to minimize that there. And this is your looking, what you're looking at, and you have to create a homework assignment from this. So where are you going to start? 
Well, I like being in split view. And early on, you should save your file, save as, and I'm gonna save it in 01. Now, it should be index for you, index.html. And I'm gonna call this lab one .html because I don't want to write over the index sample that I did. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now it's changed so it's up here where it says lab lab01.html and that's the name of my file. And I'm doing everything on the coding side and it will appear here as I make changes. So I'm going to recreate my lab one that I did in web in, in Optana. So let's just take a look at the code here. All right, so I don't need to see what it looks like. I'm gonna recreate this and I'm gonna talk about the process you go through. Now I've got a few things in here that I'd like to add. I've got my head, I've got my title, and you'll notice that Optana and Dreamweaver format things a little differently, that's okay. And then I'm gonna put in meta and meta information is information about the page that we're on. And I'm going to include name equals and author. This is the page author. And that would be me. And you can put that in or not as you wish. And that closes my head section. Now you'll notice that I have added into here a comment. And a comment is information that's ignored by the browser and you open your tag, you start with an exclamation point and then a dash dash. That turns everything after me, after gray here. And I'm gonna say, this is a comment. My body tags are always after my head tag closes. Now one of the things I like about Dreamweaver is it auto wraps here um, you could hit enter and it would ignore it. So this is the body tag and you're going to put all everything for your homework inside of here. And it, just like looking from my example here, if I was looking from my other example, which is what you're going to be looking at, probably you could look at either one, they're both out there. Um, you're going to look at what you need to include here and everything's going to be in the body tag. So it needs to be between that opening and that closing tag. So you got to start right here. And if you'd like, you can tab in. And I'm going to start with an H1 tag, which is a really good place to start. Because for search engine optimization, search engines like Google look for H1 tags because they describe the content of the page. So in that H1 tag, I'm going to go back and make it match my other page. Um, I'm making it Web 115 Homework Lab 1. Web 115 Homework Lab 1 text. And then I have to close my tag. Now this is the element here, H1 to the closing tab, opening tags, no slashes, closing tags, slashes, content between them. And if I click over here, that gives me a rapid preview. And I really like to actually preview in a real browser so I can choose any of these. It'll make me save it first, which is a good idea. And you'll see, there it is, voila, works fine. Good way to test. All right, so, the, and this is one of the things I like about Dreamweaver, you can see the changes as you do them. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a paragraph. And so in my paragraph, I did something here that I didn't do in my initial sample. I actually put in a style because it was making me a little nuts working in the Optana viewer because things are coming up so small and I hate to work with my glasses on. So I'm putting in a style and the style this is an inline style for cascading styles and it's just font size, font size colon 20 pixels. Now, if you watch the other video on where I did this in Optana, it, I didn't think it was working. So I went out and I checked, and then I'm gonna put in B, and let's see what I have here. Mary's epic journey through life. Okay. Mary's epic journey 
through life. And then I would um, close that and make sure to leave the space. Now I can check and see how that worked. And it's making it, now let's see. It's bold, that's right, that's exactly what it should be. And then I'm going to type in a bunch more text. I'm move this over a little bit so I can see both. And I trust me, I don't do this for every homework assignment. You don't want to watch me type that much. But I think for the first one, showing you how I actually work is a good idea. And notice I had to leave a space here, otherwise there wouldn't be a space between the exclamation point and the M. I started programming when she... And you'll notice I did not drop in my code here. I'm going to come back and do that afterwards. Was only nine years old. Mary fell in love with programming and started taking classes when she was in seventh grade. And that would close my paragraph. Okay, so I find it easier when I'm doing formatting to type in my code first and then I wanted the emphasis around nine years old. So this is an emphasis tag. And so I'm gonna open my tag, EM, close my tag, and then here on the other side I gotta close the emphasis, click over here, and you'll see that emphasis makes it italic. Okay, and then I also, see what else I used in that one, I used bold, I've got that in there, and I used emphasis. All right, so we're gonna go into the next paragraph. And we're gonna make this strong. Mary goes to college. And again, sometimes it's better, it's hard to think about formatting when you're thinking about what you're going to write. So sometimes it's better just to go back and put drop that formatting in afterwards. And then I'm gonna put a break in here. And that's self-closing. Um, so I don't need a closing tag on the break, that just moves it to a new line. I started college at, and I'm gonna put this in italics, McHenry County College. Close the italics when she was 18 years old. She then married and had two kids before returning to MCC at 23. All right, so here I want to make this a superset. So it's soup and then closing that here and check it over here. Now let's take a look at what that formatting did. This is strong, which turns out similar to bold. The break starts a new line, whereas a paragraph leaves a blank line. So that's really the difference between a break and a paragraph. You can see emphasis is the same as italic, strong is the same as bold, and that's really what this exercise is meant to show you. So let's go on to the next paragraph. When Mary was 25, she realized how much she loved programming and transferred to Rockford College University to pursue a degree in computer science. This is all true, by the way. Um, and so this is where my paragraph will close. Uh, I didn't do any other formatting in here. Rockford College is now university. They changed their name this year. That's why I put that in. Okay, so here I'm going to put in a unordered list. In my original sample, I did an ordered list, which means it has numbers. Unordered list is just a bulleted list. So I'm gonna use an H3, it's a heading three. Programming languages, and I have a spelling error. 
but I'm going to come back to that. Mary knows and close the H3 tag, and then I'm going to put in an unordered list, UL, list item, LI, Java, HTML, which is not really a programming language. I mean, you're hand coding, but I don't consider it a programming language if it doesn't have any logic in it. So neither HTML or CSS to me is truly a programming language um, because they're formatting, they're content. It's a tag-based language, and to me it's programming if it has an if-then-else in it. And so I also know COBOL. JavaScript, C++, Action Script, and I'm learning Objective C, which is the language you use if you want to program iPad apps. And here I want this to be more neatly formatted, so I'll bracket it up so it's in line with the other UL from my other programming days, and then it closes body in HTML. And I can check it here. Okay, now you know I said I had a, a spelling error. Um, it's Shift F7 or check spelling. And I like the way I'm doing it, so I'm gonna add to personal. Add to personal. Let's start checking at the beginning. Add to personal, add to personal, add to personal. That one's wrong, so I'm going to change that. That one's wrong. That one's wrong. Okay, spelling check, good thing. Doesn't catch everything, doesn't remove you from the responsibility of proofreading. Now what I love about Dreamweaver is actually the FTP works really well in here. Since we set that up before, we can just connect to our site and we can hit our up arrow. Yes to all. Yes, and this is lab01 HTML. So here I can go out now and I can check and it's a different name than my other one, which was Lab01B. So this is Lab01B, this is the one I'm working off of, and this is just Lab01, same path. I do find Dreamweaver easier to work with than Optana, but it should be pretty much the same thing now. Nope, that's Lab01. And enter. There we go. You can see it shifted a little bit, but it's basically the same thing. So this is how you're going to put it up online, and this is what your path is going to be. Your, typically your first initial last name, .mccdgym.net. Web115 should be your folder. I'm in the 01 folder here, and it's lab01.html. So you will copy that, and then you can paste it into your assignment folder on Canvas.